Welcome back. Previously on the Wandale Family Adventures, Ryan and I were just about to take off from the Oswego County Airport when the engines started sputtering on the mag check. You might have been right about that spark plug. Join us as we pull off the cowling and get busy fixing the problem. Alright, so we're back at the airport. Pulling the spark plug that was giving us problems last night. See if we can't take care of it. And by we, I mean Ryan. <laughs> awesome. Same thing on this side? Yep. All right. I'm going to get my hands dirty, so we'll be back later. All right, we got all the spark plugs out. Just ran them through a continuity test and we did have two of them on the same cylinder fail so it's exactly what we thought it was going to be we're getting uh replacements for all the spark plugs right now they're cleaning everything up and getting it ready hopefully about a half hour we'll be back flying so but yeah here's what we did so pulled the tops and the bottoms on both sides and the tops and bottoms Took all the spark plugs out just like you would a car. Super easy, it's nothing really hard. Got them into the shop. The guy did continuity tests on them. Uh, we had the one cylinder totally failed, which made perfect sense that we were we were getting one bad cylinder. Um, so it just goes to show, if they don't feel right, don't fly. Yeah. Super super easy process to take care of it you know it can be frustrating not getting where you want to go but that's that's the joys of the freedoms this brings so deal with it <laughs> enjoy where you're at look around look at all the stuff that's around here this place is beautiful so we're just north of syracuse and uh this area of town is awesome the, there's a lot of farmland there's beautiful trees and lakes and rivers and so roll with it it's been awesome i'm enjoying this so watching them take off and land here today the big old TBM just took off a minute ago. That was cool. That plane just sounds mean. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna get back at it. We got about half an hour to wait for while they get everything ready and and uh, turned over to us, so. What a trip. <laughs> Whew. All right, got it fixed, got the cowling on. He's gonna go do a lap, a couple laps in the pattern. And then we're off to Niagara Falls. And then we gotta wait out some weather. So perfect day for some sightseeing. Yep. Telling you people, this is the way to see America. Get in a small plane and just go hopping around. Get to the places you really can't get to by car very easy. See it from the sky. It totally changes the way the terrain looks. It totally puts it in scale. It's it's incredible. Alright, so he's jumping in now. He's gonna go do run up and do a lap or two in the pattern, and then he'll pick me up and we'll out of here. Alright everybody, Ryan is turning the engine on. He just shouted clear. He's gonna taxi up and do a lap or two in the pattern and then pick me back up. Just make sure everything's safe. Uh, everything's operating as it should be, and that's the best way to do it. So get it in the sky, turn it around, fly it hard, come back down. So he's gonna go up and do that. In fact, he's about to start rolling right now. That's been a trip right there. That's been a journey. Man, I tell you though, even with a setback like this, th this is phenomenal. The, the, the absolute freedom to just go wherever and see what you want to see and get a different perspective on things truly is incredible. So, oh, you know, it's just parts of the country you don't normally go to. And I'll tell you what, it's, it's beautiful. I'm, I'm just looking around where we're at right now. We're just a little north of Syracuse uh, in Oswego. And that's where we're at. So there goes Ryan now. It's a moment of truth. He's doing his run up now. See if he takes off or not. If he aborts or if he goes forward he's airborne
Airplane sounded good. So far, so good. After finishing a couple laps of the pattern, Ryan landed and taxied back to pick me up, and we were off to Niagara Falls. The weather was beautiful and the airplane was flying better than it had since we picked it up. Fuel efficiency was where we expected it, and engine performance, well, she was purring like a kitten. Watching the countryside pass by is literally therapeutic for me, and I hope it never gets old. Well, it didn't take long to get to Niagara's Class D airspace, so we prepared to land and explore this great city. 6 November, uniform runway 24, wind variable 3, clear to land. Alright, 24, uh, clear to land, uh, 6 November, uniform, we're entering that left face now. Information Charlie Current, Niagara Falls Airport, out of 3012. There's a guy in the upwind, got him. Yeah, it really does. The engine even sounds more relaxed doing it. Welcome back everybody. We just got into Niagara Falls. We had some killer lunch at this place called Griffin's Gastro Pub. If you're in Niagara Falls, you gotta go there. The food was stupid good. Like it should be illegal, it was so good. We just texted our hotel. We're gonna go check out the falls and do a little sightseeing. So let's go on another adventure. Sounds like fun, right? This place is pretty cool. Alrighty, let's do this. These masks are getting old. Oh, cool. As long as we can maintain social distancing, we don't have to wear a mask. <laughs> Achoo! <laughs> Walking across the bridge, I can already see falls through the trees. It's cool. I'm going to put this in uh, 120 frames a second so I can do some slow-mo. This is really cool. The falls are pretty loud, surprisingly. And these aren't even the falls. These are just the rapids leading up to the falls. That water is trucking it. Where do we get the barrels? <laughs> That's all I want to know. Where, there's got to be a barrel shop somewhere. It's awesome looking. Could you imagine coming up upon this, just being like a settler and be like, dur -de -dur -de -dur -de. oh crap. <laughs> Guess we gotta find another way, guys. 
don't you know <laughs> sorry canadians no this is goat island that's just the water moving Dude. And you can tell it's not super deep in some spots. Wow. <laughs> Geared up. Ready to go. We're going down to the windy cave. And hopefully we'll have enough time to get on the Maiden of the Mist. Get over there too, but they close at 6, so... We might have to catch it tomorrow. We'll see. Let's go do this. I've seen a few waterfalls around the country. However, None of them compare to the sheer volume of water coming over these falls. The power of nature really blows my mind. This is so incredible. Everywhere you turned, it was a postcard view. Literally. 360 degrees of absolutely beautiful. There's no other way to describe this, except to tell you, you have to go. You have to see it with your own eyes. There's not a camera on earth that will do this justice. The water's a little cold. The forces generated by the water crashing on the rock formations below generate winds over 100 miles per hour. Oh my god! That's crazy! Trying to stand in front of them, well, it was futile. I came back later that night to see the falls lit up, and I can honestly tell you, I could have stayed out there all night long. It's absolutely one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Well, I'm wet. Brian's wet. It's wet. Um, opt for the shoes when they ask you if you want the flip-flops. The answer is yes. No. Unless you like, you know, smooshy shoes. I don't like smooshy shoes. I barely like socks. But that was awesome. Getting up close to those falls, man. The wind coming off them, they had this deck. And it literally blow you off your feet. It's just so much pressure coming down. That's incredible. Go do that. <laughs> that was unbelievable. Holy moly. Anyway, we're gonna go explore some more. Oh yeah. yeah, beware of birds. I'm not sure these ponsos are just meant for the rain if you get my drift. Just saying. 
<laughs> Spending the day in Niagara Falls was truly an adventure worthy of its own episode. Tomorrow's journey will be one of those days where the weatherman just can't seem to get anything right, but you'll have to tune in to see what's happening and where we end up. And remember, life's an adventure. Trek on.